Hello and welcome one and all, and welcome back to the Great War. So, I don't even remember where we left off from. I think I did a, I think, I think I can remember a vague strategy of trying to encircle Verdun and hopefully hold off the allies around Yeep. I don't old Yeep, but it's. It's uh, the last part of Belgium, and uh, they're gonna hold on, hold on to tooth and nail. And Calais is not far from there, so they're definitely going to hold on to that um, as much as possible. Yes, I think I remember now. I have just made an attack, attack through Santi Minehuld, and um, I'm not quite prepared yet to attack Barleduc. I suppose I can I suppose I can sacrifice some infantry. To show up the defense around there because the Allies are, may be very tempted to launch an attack from from Verdun uh, at these two uh, lighter defend uh, lighter defended areas. It's best to be. Uh, a little cautious. Likewise, I suppose I could take another Achtung! infantry call. Because I'm worried about them attacking through Neon. So if I got like a, a relatively strong force there, that might help. I don't foresee an attack from down here. Wir haben neue Too much. Wir müssen los. So I'll take Wir some conscript call up there, and hopefully, and hopefully we do uh, do nicely. Let's see what happens in the end turn. <laughs> Nothing. Excellent. Right. A cash poor. Recruitment in action. So, got some. I got two conscript corps and four infantry corps. Um, and yet, the, the photograph is of uh, Commonwealth soldiers, I believe. Right. Which means then. I can put the, the conscripts can go back there. Main infantry. Can go there. Three infantry corps should be adequate defense. But where shall I base these chaps? Oh, they've really bunched up their soldiers. Their army there. Well, there goes the uh, reinforcements. But I am determined now to try and take this territory and then hopefully strike there as well. Uh, and if in the next turn, whatever's left of this of this army after it's come through here, will help repetitive attacks against Bar Le Duc and encircle Verdun and do what the Germans didn't couldn't wasn't and do what the Germans were unable to do in World War One, as well as the Franco-Prussian War, which was the attack they had done and never took Verdun. Granted, though, in World War One, uh, the Battle of Verdun wasn't a battle the Germans aimed to take Verdun. They wanted to threaten the Verdun, the threaten the capture of it. They wanted to draw in as many French forces as possible so that they can um, in essence do what Falkenhayn envisioned, which was bleed France white. Uh, and merely threatening Verdun was enough to draw 
was because Vietnam was much of a, was very much of a big symbol in in the French mindset because of its role in the Franco-Prussian War in 1870 in 1871. Uh, so they drew up a lot of soldiers. What was it? What's some sort of mad statistics? What, like, uh, uh, was it two thirds of the French army? Something around there? I could be wrong with that. I might have missed uh, heard that, but around it sounds familiar. Uh, around two thirds of the French army was rotated through the battle. The battle. Uh, the battle area around uh, Verdun however it, it was a true battle of attrition like I say however did it work I suppose it contributed quite heavily into um, the, the French mutiny of 1917 but Because of the amount of casualties taken, the and and all that, but it didn't help the German army, as the German army also lost quite a large number of troops it could ill afford. Because the thing about World War One and and some other wars involving a single nation against many, is on the Western Front you had the French forces and their big empire like the Algerians and and that like, and then you had the British involved with their empire so he had myriad of different peoples from uh, Australians, New Zealands, Indians, uh, South Africans and Canadians and you know a, a, a big gathering of, of um, various nations and then you had the Belgians involved and Belgian also had a bit of an empire so there may be some people from, from the various stretches of the Belgian Empire took part as well and then the Americans joined and then the Portuguese joined and you know but that's a little bit later but at this point you still had the French Empire and many of its different colonies involved and the British Empire and its colonies and so forth involved so the Allies in essence could take I could afford these casualties but the Germans couldn't because yeah, you do see casualty figures where, like, yeah, the French, the the French, uh, or the Allies lost you know, like hundreds of thousands of men, but they can replace that. You know, it sounds cold-hearted, but the because no, because they had such a huge manpower base to draw from. Whereas the German Empire, they only really had the Germans and the odd volunteers from elsewhere turn up. So it was harder to replace the numbers in that sense. And I hope what I just said made sense. And I hope I'm not talking rubbish. Anyway, World War One game. Let's uh, look at these unread reports first. The British blockade. Soon after the war began, the powerful British blo uh, no, Navy blockaded Germany. Yes. Uh, Oh, they are taking advantage in the uh, national will. Anyway, demoralize Britain. Defeat 10 British infantry companies. I'll certainly try. But first, let's attack. Uh, let's re-attack this area. And hopefully, and hopefully take it. More artillery. Let's uh, hit them with all we've got. Speaking of artillery, um, I've got I bought a book months ago. It's uh, World War Two in figures, and uh, near the end of the book, it, it sort of talks about casualties a little bit. And it used the British Army in World War Two as a uh, as an example. I'm not sure if it's the British Army in general, or well, the Commonwealth Army is it, the British Empire forces anyway. I'm not sure if it refers to the Western Front or where it refers to the whole thing, uh, the whole. Uh, globe spanning war machine but it does say up to 75% of all the casualties uh, taken by the British military in action were by some sort of artillery so artillery is sort of king even even today if you look at today's conflicts artillery is uh, very very important 
speaking of important, let's get the show on the road. Bereit für Aufklärungsmission. Bit of uh, reconnaissance on location B, as that will be the first point of call for any of our attacks. Secure the center. Usually not a good idea, but we'll secure the center. And it will be bombarded to hell. Well, some people have chosen death, so... Games not enjoying this very much. It was like this the first time I played it, it was a bit laggy and horrible. It seemed to not enjoy having recordings. I didn't get a chance to see if there's any machine guns. Well. That's what I could do then. Put it in, slow down the game a little bit, and launch the attack. Some help. Of some standard German units. Wir müssen diese Stellung halten. Yes, look at them jump out the trench in their jittery fashion. Mannschaften bereit. Koordinaten für Feuerwalze prüfen. Feuert auf diese Stellung! Seid bereit, Jungs! Achtung! Bereit für Feuerbefehle! Bereit für Feuerwalze! Feuerwalze! Einleiten! Alle Finger! Feuerwalze! Klare Waffen! He really doesn't like me recording. It's really not enjoying this up. Bump up and see them. Oh god, it's really hot. It's really not enjoying this at all. A lot of friendly artillery fire. Let's occupy the front line trenches in case they decide to get any funny ideas. Right, how well is the attack going? Eh. Decently. Right then, after that mess, suppose I can call. Hopefully, I can actually take note of what happens with this recon flight. Oh, the counter attack! No, that's not what I pressed. Well-timed artillery to disrupt their to disrupt their attack a little bit. Oh, machine guns! Ah, I see. They got two machine guns. Feuerwalze, klar machen. Alle Waffen abfeuern. Mannschaften bereit. Auf Feuerwalze vorbereiten. Unsere Ziele bereit, Jungs. 
send up some more Ye well the last two Bavarian Jaegers to right. fresh troops rolling in Yeah, they've just had to get shot. Hit them with our artillery again. Give them a healthy barrage before the attack goes in. Another machine gun. Well, right. Let's uh, hold off on that attack for now. Then, while well, I can uh, get rid of that fourth machine gun, they've really fortified this area. I can't afford to have too many uh, field attacks. So. Three artillery barrages should deal with that problem. Now we can launch another attack and hopefully be more successful. Fresh troops ready. Just in case. Ah. This attack isn't going well either. Hmm. Right, let's. I suppose I can try and do a general barrage. Try and get rid of some of the ad hoc infantry that just got standing around. Another attack, shall we? Though I fear this will go in a very similar fashion. I said, Fire! Fire! I like the infantry, but I'm not hovering over the infantry. Let's 
an extremely costly attack. Bloody heck, this is taking some doing. No, stop highlighting the damn infantry. Try and get in that trench. Hopefully, not get shot too much to pieces. No. Completely annihilated. Spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Right, what about do that is very crude form of bite and hold. No, they're not entirely effective. Right. Hopefully these chaps are good enough to uh, get rid of the uh, French line in that position. Yes, they are just about are. Right. Ay, ay, ay. All this to take a couple of trenches. So is the futility of warfare, I suppose. See so if I can build up some force here, and cheekily use some, the uh, you, uh, cheekily use the artillery, to suppress some of these trenches, and hopefully uh, he's had a fun time, uh, and hopefully keep the head down long enough to uh, make a difference. Try and be rapid. No, that it didn't work. That really didn't work. While they're preoccupied. This might have been my lucky break. Bloody hell. That was that this has took some doing. Right. I do apologize if I'm not speaking too much, even having this camera. It's uh Takes a lot of brain power. We have neue Befehle. We halten hier. Send a damaged unit forward. See if they can deal with that problem. Form a bit of a strike group and see if I can attack their HQ from a few different uh, uh, a few different locations. Warten auf Befehle. Maybe I might be able to use uh Bereit machen on the line. Achtung! Feuerstellung einnehmen! Use some of these uh more these infantry units to uh to some effect as well. Artillery has been wiped out. 
Get that front line with some force. And what I might do with these is a general attack in this area and uh, see what happens. And of course, my computer doesn't like it. Machine guns can't hit everyone at once. Right, Bavarians. Hit that trench. You chaps. Hit that trench. You chaps. Hit that trench. You hit the command trench. Try and get in there. Say they can't kill all of us. Of course we're losing a minute alarming rate. This is how an infantry assault sort of happened in early World War One. It's bloody, it's horrible. That's a long shots there. Bloody hell. I feel a bit tired after that one. Oh god. Oh I I'm going to continue the attack. To press the advantage and speed up time. Let's get this battle over and done with. And and with that at the end. That'll be the end of this video as well, because flipping heck, that took some doing. Because this brain isn't very good, as it turns out. Well, casualties are rather similar. If not, I've lost... Uh, Probably a thousand or so more. Horrible figures. But at least they're more or less realistic, you know, in some sense. A great victory. But at what cost? Excellent work. We are one step closer to taking Veldan. Destroyed three heavy artillery pieces. You completed the hard task and moved the front line by a significant amount. When success is measured in inches, a victory of miles is worthy of high price. High praise. Because I can't read. Look at that. One step closer to encircling Vale Dunn. But I would like to get some siege artillery, which I... Now I'm able. Definitely move these chaps. There. I'm going to buy more. Because. Because I am definitely going to need that artillery. There we go. So that should be adequate force to launch another offensive. However, I'm going to wait one turn 
which will be the next video, so we can use the siege artillery. Maybe I sound a bit too enthusiastic. But who wouldn't be? But until then, I know it was only one battle, but it was quite the task for me. So, until next time, goodbye.